welcome to my youtube channel so continuing the series of starts where until now i have talked about the data collection process in the last part of the video and uh, i am expecting that everyone have already been watched that video before coming to this video right now please watch this video until the end because today i'll give you one question uh, and i will be looking for the comment section where i'm looking for the answer and the responses of all the students let's see who will be able to give me the correct response for that okay so let's get started so the agenda for today's class is to discuss about a summarizing and visualizing the data if suppose i will be having any data set how basically with the help of a stats tools uh, or with the help of a stats knowledge i would say i will be able to summarize the data or i will be able to visualize the data that's the next important part that we need to understand so let's get started with that concept here if you will observe uh whenever we are talking about a type of data we will be having either a numerical based data or we will be having a categorical based data right now whenever i'm talking about numerical in that case if suppose your data set contains a numerical data in that case you can talk about the summarization and about the visualization using these three tools first of all center whether you are talking about you can calculate obviously for that numeric data the value of mean median and mode now step by step in each and every part of the video i'll talk about all these things in a very great detail right second thing whenever we are dealing with the numeric data is we can talk about the shape now whether a uh, data is you know having a normal distribution or a bell shaped curve which is again a very important topic and i'll create a separate video for that that what is a gaussian or a normal distribution versus what is a skewed distribution that we have after that the third important part is the spread how your data is spread across the mean so here we can uh, you know take that particular thing or we can talk about about that particular thing that is the spread by calculation of a range or iqr the full form of iq uh, iqr is interquartile range or variance so here whatsoever things or key terms i am talking about as a uh, range or iqr or variance bell shaped skewed mean median mode let me tell you i will create a separate separate video to make you guys understand the internal the in depth intuition behind each and every concept and later on we will do the implementation of the same by taking some data set so that i will try to show you the visualization of that as well now this is about a numerical data so when the numerical data is given to me so i can either talk about a center which can be done by mean mean or mode or i can talk about a shape which is either symmetric or non symmetric in other in other words which can be either a bell shaped or a skewed one or i can talk about a spread which is uh you know can be measured with the help of a range or iqr or variance second type of data is categorical data that we have inside that we have one key term which is a mode what is mode or what is proportion or count one and the same thing i am calling out let's talk about a bit on this particular part of the video so in this video our focus is to discuss about mean median and mode the very first part of our uh metric after that in the next upcoming video i will talk about maybe the bell shaped and skewed thing and in the later on part of the video we will talk about the range versus iqr versus variance and what is the meaning of all these terms which i am talking about by taking a numerical example first of all we will try to solve it manually so that we will be able to get a good grip over the fundamentals after that i will try to uh, do the implementation by taking one random data set maybe uh, we can do on that diabetes data itself which i just showed you in the previous sessions right so we will see and figure it out so now let's talk about the measures of central ten tendency that is mean median and mode now whenever i'm talking about a mean so first of all obviously when you will be having a numeric data only then only you will be able to calculate the mean by the way what is mean mean is nothing it is an average of a data so when you will be able to calculate the so simple average for example i will be providing you four data samples for example i will be saying that 2 4 6 and 8 
is your data values which is there inside your data set now what is the mean of that you will just do 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 divided by total number of values which is 4 so i hope everyone knows that how basically we will be able to calculate the mean value of a data it's nothing but the average simple average now the second important factor is median what is median by the way it's just a middle value of a ordered data so whenever you are trying to calculate a median for any particular data first of all try to sort them out in an ascending order after sorting them them out now either the size of your data set is even or odd if it is odd directly grab the middle value if it is even take two middle data points and calculate the average of that i'll try to show you with the help of an example not an issue if you if you're not getting something out of this last but not the least is the mode where I'm just calculating the maximum frequency of a word or a value that will become the mode. So these are the three important measures of a central tendency. Now, before moving to the next question, which is the question which I want to ask from this video, let me try to go back to a question uh, so that I will be able to discuss properly what is mean, median and mode, those who are not able to get it. I'll just take one simple example. So I will be having some data values like uh, I will be having 2, then 4, then 6, and they, then 8, and then maybe 1, and then maybe 7. So these are the entries that is given to me. If I am saying to you, what is the mean of that? So what you will do? You will just try to evaluate what is the value of 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 1 plus 7. Let me do one thing. I will just add one more key term here, 4. So, plus, again, I am adding 4. Now, what is the size of this data? What is the value of n that you are picking up? So, here if you will observe, you will be having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, divided by n which is equal to 7. You can solve it pretty well. So, this is your mean. So, by saying mean, it means that you are calculating a simple average. This is what I was talking about. Now, when I am talking about a median, so, calculate, in order to calculate the median, I will first of all try to sort this data. So, 1 will come up front, after that 2 will come, after that 2 times 4 will come, after that 6 will come, after that 7 will come and then 8 will come. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. We will be having 7 entries. Now, because this number is odd, because this number is odd, so I will be able to just directly grab the middle value out of this. So, what I will do, I will just left out the three numbers on the left side, three numbers on the right side, and this is my middle entry. So, in this case, the median is equals to 4. But suppose here, if I will be having a even number, suppose after this, I am just taking it randomly, 10 is there, then it is an even number. At that point of time, you will just skip the last three elements and take an average of this. By saying that, you will say 4 plus 6 divided by 2 if 10 is included in your data set. So, at that point of time, your median will become 5. I hope I'm making sense. So, if the number is odd, you can directly pick up that element from the middle one. If the number is uh, even, at that point of time, you can pick up two middle values and try to calculate the average of that. Now, when I'm talking about a mode, as I told you, that mode is the highest frequency one. So, here if you will observe, Almost all the data points which I have in the original uh, data set have only one entry apart from this 4, which is having 2 frequency. So, the mode of this particular question is specifically 4. Highest frequency, right? Now, this is something which can be done whenever we are dealing with a numerical data. Can I say? Because for a categorical data, how will you evaluate what is mean? What is median? But yes, you can evaluate what is mode. Because in a mode, you, you are just counting the how many number of uh, categories that we have, which is duplicating, which is repeating. That, that, that can be done. So, for a mode, it is useful for both of the things. It can be calculated for a numerical as well as it will, it will be calculated for a categorical as well. Right? Perfect. I hope that now you will be able to grab the concept which I want to discuss here. Let me go back towards the question 
which I want to state here for you all. Consider, so whatsoever concept you have learned so far, this is your question, I am looking for an answer in the comment section. For example, I am saying that this is a 7 employee salaries, okay, 28,000, 34,000, 33,000, 37, 33, 40 and 40k. These are the salaries of a 7 employees. What do you think is better to report as a metric, uh, median or mean? What do you think? So, usually whenever we are trying to uh, uh, consider or summarize the data, we can summarize that data with the help of a central, central tendency. Now, in central tendency, we will be having three factors, mean, median and mode. It's not just that how we can calculate those values. It's also important that at what point of time, which particular parameter we should use. Now, given this situation where you will be having this kind of a data, what do you think is my question? Median is better, preferable to report or mean is preferable? Given I, I want to report only one thing, either I can report mean or I can report median. Why? Why is important to understand here? So, I am more eagerly looking for why you are saying that, okay, ma'am, in this particular case, mean is preferable or in that particular case, uh, median is preferable. Let's see who will be able to give me the correct answer for that. I'm looking forward to your answers and for sure I'll discuss this solution of the same question in the next upcoming part of the video and after that I'll talk about further about the second part of our important thing right that is about the shape which is bell skewed uh, bell shaped what what do we mean by bell shaped or a symmetric kind of a data versus what is skewed kind of a distribution or a shape so we will talk about in depth about that particular part as well but I'll looking forward towards your answers in the comment section. I will see you all in my next upcoming video. I hope that you will be able to get the concept pretty well. With this, happy learning to all. Bye-bye everyone. Please make sure you hit like the video and do subscribe my channel. It will really mean the world to me. Bye-bye and see you soon in my next upcoming video.